prices remain high, but if you're looking for a quick road trip that won't break the bank, here's one idea for you. In today's Trips That Make Sense, WMAR2 News' Mark Roper takes us to York, Pennsylvania, which many drivers can get to and from on just half a tank of gas or less. Its nicknames are America's First Capital and the White Rose City. Of course, some know it for the Peppermint Patty, but you can call it York, PA. Not to be confused with its British namesake, this York is located less than 20 miles north of the Maryland border. Whether you're into American history, good food and drinks, or arts and entertainment, Explore York Director of Destination Marketing Melissa Beaverson tells us both York City and York County offer something for everyone. You can go watch products uh, being made here. You can make products here. There's a reason why our destination's tagline is have it made here. That's obviously very literal, but also there's lots of things that you can make here like memories and fun. Visiting York is like taking a trip back in time. Founded in 1741, York served as a temporary capital of the 13 colonies during the Revolutionary War. It was here at this reconstructed colonial courthouse where the Second Continental Congress adopted the original U.S. Constitution, the Articles of Confederation. What a lot of people don't know about York County really is its role in American history. People think often about Gettysburg or Philadelphia or Boston, but York has just as much of a storied past. York is a living museum of American history. History buffs can check out a variety of colonial sites, but foodies might want to head over to the Central Market for a cornucopia of local and international dishes to tempt their taste buds. Central Market is wonderful, not just from a food scene, as obvious you look around at all of the various cuisines that you can try, but it it's really supports local. I mean, there's local artists here that are selling their artisan goods. There's local, there's actual local art being sold here. It's a great place to buy gifts if you want to support the local scene. Outside the Central Market, Visitors will find a variety of places to grab a bite or drink, like White Rose Bar and Grill, Holy Hound Tap Room, and dozens of other eateries, all within walking distance around downtown. But there's also all of the county. I mean, there's authentic Mexican, there's meats and cheeses that are made here that rival those of Italian meats and cheeses. There's obviously tons of farm fresh produce that's used and locally sourced beef and chicken because of all the farms here. Adults can feel like a kid again and play retro pinball games at Timeline Arcade, but for those with kids in tow, York offers a lot for families as well. There's 4,500 miles of public parklands. There's the Heritage Rail Trail, so there's hiking and biking and, you know, exploring along the rail trail. We have three historic uh, railroads that also, you know, take you on rides along the, the rail trail. And if you need any more ideas on what to do in York, we have a top 10 list of activities and attractions on our website, WMAR2news.com. In York, Pennsylvania, Mark Roper, WMAR2 News. Lots to see and do there in York, Pennsylvania. And if you have a great place that we could feature on trips that make sense, please let us know. You can send us your ideas to storyideas at WMAR.com. And who knows, you could see it here on Good Morning Maryland. Well, now I am definitely.